They scored a few more points than Fribourg, who ended up in fourth. So Vienna will also feature at the Wuxi Masters October 1st and 2nd out in China. But you know what? We're not there yet. One more game. One more game. This is it. We're sprinting again. Riffa got to start it. BVO to, well, he's looking for Dennis the Menace. Donk were open, but blocked on the shot. Great defense by Ivanovic. Oh, smashing like a Krabby Patty. Ivanovic getting things started in style. Look again, he freezes force and comes through with the one hand spike. This Podgori Jacodio squad is more serious than Geralt of Rivia. I'm telling you right now, they bring the defense, they bring the offense, but they are going up against Dennis the Menace. We'll see who comes out on top. Rajsevic to Jovanovic. These teams played before on the season. Their only matchup coming at the Marseille Masters in pool play. That was a 18 to 14 victory for Podgori Jacodio, who, uh, Managed to get Petar Ivanovic going and put it to Riffa. Riffa in this type of form, I, I don't know. It is put Gordich on the board first. And an offensive foul on Riffa now. It's their first, but a turnover as a result. So Riffa, who came out of the Catacombs in the semifinals ablaze, just put it to Vienna. Ran up to a 10 point lead and never let go. Now looking at a two point deficit. Ivanovic working behind the screen. He almost dropped himself. Now he steps into a fader. And I don't know about that fade. Might, might have to check your barber. Ford's asking for a screen. Ford's a awkward runner. Uh, he had Augustina Opa couldn't get there. And there are the fellas from Montenegro again. It's three zip, make that three one after Augustina is all by himself. So Riffa finally on the board after a minute 30 of play. A miss underneath. And Fort's now firing from long range. He finally connected on a couple in the semifinals. Has not had the greatest of shooting performances so far. For one from beyond the arc in that game against Vienna earlier. But he's usually a sharp shooter, but his, his percentages are, are quite low here in Pristina. Now an unsportsmanlike foul. That means two fouls on the tally of Riffa. And two freebies coming up for Vuja Dinovic. Again, this man brought the boom in the semis. Curious about that, go check that out on our Instagram at FIBA3x3. And excuse my yelling, I got excited. Vujadinovic only gets the connection going on one. Back to the fellas in yellow. Forts. Fouled on the attempt there, so now Riffa has two freebies. A lot of fouls early in the game. First two minutes, we're up to five fouls already. the menace oh a filthy hesitation oh but oh you know what there's some uh, extracurricular activity involved a double dribble grab it onto the Wilson with two hands so referees turning the possession over to Podgori Cecodio Ivanovic working behind the screen he steps back trying to avoid the long arms of Augustina and it manages just so
He's had the scope unlocked for the entire tournament. He can't connect on that one. VVO knuckleballs in a two, and it's five to four. Riffa right back into things. There's Ivanovic splashing again. Both teams unlocking the long range shots here. Riffa, can they get another one going? Force attempts to take it to the cup. A big Euro by Jonas Ark. Left to right or the layup. Now he has to guard Ivanovic. It's good defense right there. Ivanovic, no look at a shot. Difficult attempt. The rebounds picked up by the Bahraini Belgians. Donkor from the corner. Jovanovic, good foul on Donkor, who stops Jovanovic from scoring, puts him back out on top. That will get us to our first TV timeout as well. It was Ivanovic getting things started with this righty spike. Steiner again making himself useful on the defensive end. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again, he's finding his groove again. A defensive presence presence for this Riffa squad. Long arms could protect the paint. Hit some shots from the outside as well. And he's he's starting to get comfortable after that that injury that kept him out for so so long. Worked very hard to get back to this spot, and it's working so far. Isovic loses everyone and everything, but also to Wilson, misses the shot. And that will be a 12 second violation. Towards to Donkor, Donkor. Float game from the middle of the paint. Wards kicks it out, gets it right back underneath the basket. Uh-oh, fouled on the play as well. Gets the shot to go through a lot of contact. And look at Jonas Ark. Up and in, and now an option at one more. Vujadinovic jumping on his back. Not in a good way like he did in the semis. setting things straight and action continues with six minutes on the clock Ivanovic another open look now a foul on the rebound it's number four on Podgori Cercodio Jovanovic a little bit too handsy on the rebound attempt there 12 fresh seconds for Riffa who've won this challenger before dressed as team Antwerp back then that was in 2022 Oh, Fords behind the back. That gallery play is snuffed out, though. And now Jovanovic underneath. Gets a layup to go and ties the game at eight. We're approaching the halfway mark, a kick out. There's Fords. He leaves everyone in the dust. He dropped a man. Pick your ankles up, please. Somebody pick the ankles of Ivanovic up off the court. Forts had him slipping like he stepped on a banana peel. Yuck. Oh, Jovanovic with the misdirection. Leaving everyone in the dust. 
There's Doncor again. Not been able to hit from long range in this game just yet. Forts though. Oh, it's a good look, but that pass was snuffed out. There's Uyadinovic hanging in the air and hitting a difficult shot. Forts working off of the screen. Attempts a difficult two. It's snuffed out and defended with a little bit too much. Two free throws coming up for Jonas Ark. Look again, he spins away from Rajcevic, who steps into him as he's trying to land, and you have to protect the shooter, so landing spot is sacred. That means two freebies for Riffa. Fultz calmly knocks in the first. See if he has a second one in him. That could put his team up by one. And Forts gets both the free throws to go in. Can these four men from Montenegro answer? It's Ivanovic. He gets his cookies taken. Alhustaina down to VVO, who set up shop underneath the pay, uh, basket. 12 to 10 as a result. Goychai, a little sloppy with the Wilson here. A couple turnovers in a row for Goychai Kodio and, and Vujadinovic a little shaken up on the play. I think uh, Fuchs might have dove into his leg there. But he gets back up. He walks it off. An Osterweich, oh. An Aaron pass, Augustina somehow controls it. VVO back to Augustina underneath the basket. Oh, oh, you know what had happened was, see, no. And to add to it, Augustina here with a foul. So first he misses the easy look underneath the basket and then he puts Marko Rajcevic on the stripe for some free throws. And Rajcevic with an option here to tie the game at just over four minutes. Again, who is going to pick up a challenger win here? Both teams have not done so, have gotten close. We have not seen Riffa in a finals yet this year. We, had, we did see Podgorica. Oh, Forts with the slam! Jonas Ark! Look at this! I didn't know he could get up like that. I'll be honest with you, the misdirection and then the slam for Jonas Forts. And his team with a one-point lead. There is right. Oh, Ivanovic missing everything. Looked like he had a clear layup there. And that's gotten us to our second TV timeout. This game is actually pretty tight. Both teams don't give a lot of ground to the other squad. 13 to Riffa, 12 for Gorica. Both teams also in foul trouble. Riffa a little bit more there at seven. But it's a game of wills, more so than a game of runs, this one. Forts find his groove at the right time, splashing in a two ball and a three point lead for Riffa as a result. It's Jonas Forts' playground this finals. Stepping up his game. Vujadinovic hanging, can't hit. It's tapped up and in by one of the long arms of Podgorica, but there's Jonas Ark again. 17 to 13, they've unleashed Jonas Forts, and he's playing like a man possessed. No answer for Podgorica. But Jonas Forts is blowing up like a pufferfish. 
getting buckets from long range as well as underneath the basket. He even dunked the, uh, the Wilson once. The man's getting swifty. I know there's some Rick and Morty fans out there somewhere. Anyway, Augustine, another two ball down for Riffa. They're splashing the nets off. A deep look for Jovanovic is off the mark, out of bounds. Riffa half possession. A two ball will mean they get their first win uh, in the pro circuit in 2024. They go with Donkor, Augustina, and Forts. Forts has been the man. There's Augustina lining up another two ball. It's up and in, and Riffa take the challenger. 21 to 13, they went on a heater in the last two minutes here. And have really completely taken over this game.